you are welcome to LFN What's Your Say? The number one listening show where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring our Kelly. Real name Robert Sylvester Kelly. Also known as the R&B King. There has been a lot of pretense by the government to have the hearts and protection of young women at heart when dealing with their case against R. Kelly. As always the government prosecutors and office of the district attorney would like for us to believe that they have service above self. The court would like the nation to think they are doing the country a service by locking up R. Kelly for the rest of his life but alas, we know that these government departments are largely comprised of self-seeking officers who are never really concerned about the well-being of everyone else but themselves. Whatever they want passes regardless of whether it's helping society or not. The most instrumental among R. Kelly's children when it comes to involvement in the case he is currently dealing with has been Joanne Kelly, who like her father has chosen to become a singer and had produced a number of songs that are available on streaming platforms for us to listen to. Joanne Kelly became even more involved in her father's ordeals when her mother Andrea Kelly made sure to tag along with her, as she attended a major Good Morning Britain interview where she was asked a number of questions and gave answers that left the world contented this girl loved her father. Reporters fired Joanne with what any sane person would term as bogus questions. The kind that no one should ask a young girl about her father insinuating she should choose to between siding with her mother against confessing her love for her dad. Organized Joanne Kelly however deflected with just the perfect answers and won the battle. When asked whether she still loved her father even after everything that has been said about him, she said I love my father and even if they say he did these things, he remains my dad and I still love him anyway. Joanne Kelly had just cemented her relationship with her dad at that point and left no weak points for until today, no one can contest her love for R. Kelly as a daughter. In our previous video we mentioned how court released an order to Universal Music Group to surrender half a million dollars from R. Kelly's accumulated songwriting royalties to be divided among his accusing ex-girlfriends in form of restitutions. This is in addition to the $27,000 already forcefully taken out of his prison commissary trust account, where his fans and supporters had put together funds that would ensure his well-being while in prison, bringing the total of money so far taken away from him to $527,000. While this is going on, we ought to remember that these women who are getting paid for their role as government witnesses that helped in the takedown of the R&B King had for several years plaid the role of girlfriends to him, during which time a literary siphoned his wealth to the core leaving him bankrupt to a point where he could hardly pay his child support, money to help his children survive and live a comfortable life. These women who are currently getting paid a sort of retirement technically stood right between him and his family, and made sure that instead of giving the likes of Joanne Kelly the kind of care they deserved, blinded by love he instead took the Azriels and group to shopping sprees while they enjoyed the warmth of his mansions and apartments living the celebrity lifestyle which technically belonged to Joanne Kelly and her siblings. As if that was not enough, these women made sure to blackmail him with threats of lawsuits from time to time where they received settlements in tunes of hundreds of thousands of dollars with the mediation of attorney Susan Loggins, who now lives a millionaire lifestyle in a Florida beach house off Kelly's sweat. Lanita Carter for example who had come back for more with her state charges that were eventually dropped admitted to have received a sum of $750,000 from R. Kelly, and she is not the only one. Some women who came to R. Kelly at the age of 35 also featured in court and some are awaiting compensation. It looks like they are being paid for their shameless role in taking a man's attention off his primary beneficiaries and that's his children, and focusing it on them instead. According to the government and the Brooklyn federal judge, they did well and deserve half a million dollars. Very disappointing. One thing they have forgotten is that this is all Joanne Kelly's inheritance they are dishing out to these women. Considering R. Kelly's music is now muted and not really making him any more money, giving away his last earnings is handing over his children's inheritance to the opportunists. One would think that Judge Ann Donnelly being a mother would know better that this is not right. But surprisingly it's been her at the forefront advocating that the monies be taken out with immediate effect. This leaves us to wonder who among all these selfish people involved in this scam has taken time to think about the welfare of R. Kelly's kids, who are only getting to become young adults in this world of confusion and difficulty. According to Maxwell, it turns out in this country these days the opportunists always win. 
When it comes to cases involving women, somehow they always have to win against the men even if they don't really have a proper case against them. And sadly when court is making its decisions, they don't really care who these decisions are going to impact the most. R. Kelly may be held in prison and he perseveres, but what about his youngsters he has left behind on the outside that are dealing with the trauma of a fatherless life? Indeed, this is their inheritance they are playing with dishing it all out to these women, many of whom were more than adults when they first met R. Kelly. By giving them this money, their initial agenda to blackmail R. Kelly is finally becoming a success and the government together with the judiciary are playing their final move of the game to see them win this. It's a shame no one is thinking about the welfare of his children. Just how do you deprive a man with children the opportunity to earn money? And this goes out to Sony RCA which dropped his music in the mute R. Kelly dramatization pretending to care so much about women. What about the kids back home who need this money to survive? It's a shame on everybody involved. Doing this to R. Kelly was a huge mistake and should be highly regrettable. According to Madeline, Joanne Kelly surely has a reason to be angry and mad. In this whole process, no one has thought about her and her siblings' well-being. Why should she have to surrender what is supposed to be her well-deserved inheritance to women who have been surviving off her father for her entire lifetime? It's not her fault that these women chose to love his father. Instead she has been the one paying the price for all the years these opportunists have effectively scavenged on her father's wealth. At what point are these government officials both in the district attorney's office and Department of Justice going to pause and think about where are Kelly's children stand in all this drama? Why are they comfortably and confidently giving away what rightfully belongs to our Kelly's children to all kinds of women who never really worked for a single penny? We pray for Joanne Kelly and her siblings as they are taken through this trying moment by the very government which was supposed to protect them, but has instead preferred to team up with the opportunists. If you wish to take part in a live interview discussing any of these topics, let us know by sending an email to lfnmedia15 at gmail.com for scheduling. Thank you for watching today's video, a production of LFN Media, giving you another perspective of issues at hand. We make it our business to keep you updated with the truth amidst the cloud of lies the media wants you to believe. It is therefore important to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and allow all notifications so that you don't miss out whenever we publish a new video.